If you need more living space and the thought of getting the builders and fills you with dread, how about your own beautiful log cabin in the garden? This model is four meters by three meters, but there are over 20 different sizes and styles to suit your particular needs. Now, when you're buying a log cabin, I reckon there's a couple of things you really need to look closely at. The first is this, have you seen it? Double tongue and groove interlock boards, and that gives this structure incredible rigidity. And the other thing, the slow grown Scandinavian softwood. And when it's manufactured, it gives it a lovely smooth and tactile finish. But for me, the dream really starts is when you get inside. This is a fabulous space. Can you imagine the little ones playing so safely on the floor? The boards are smooth with no problems with splinters. Can you imagine the teenagers having this as a bit of a den, a bit of a hangout area? And we're all told we've got an unwritten book in all of us. What a great place to start that blockbuster novel. And log cabins are perfect for that at-home gym, a music room, and an artist's studio. But whatever you do in here, in winter you're going to be cosy, and in summer it's going to be light and airy. And that's because of these fantastic windows. These units are double glazed, inward opening, tilt and turn windows. And it's the windows and doors in these log cabins that really set them apart from the rest. Now construction, don't be daunted, because if you're a confident DIYer, two people in one day can get this sorted. But if you don't fancy doing it yourself, get a professional installer in and they'll do it in about half the time. But the action all starts down at ground level, where you need a hard standing. If you haven't got one, you can buy a log cabin base kit to get things started. And it really is as simple as interlocking these beautiful boards together, working around until you get up to the roof. There you've got a choice. You've got roofing felt or bitumen shingles. And then once it's finished, the fun really starts. You can paint it and stain it to suit your personality and your own colour scheme in your garden. And once you've got all your stuff in your log cabin, it has to be secure and you get a top quality lock as standard. Oh, but before you do anything, do check with your counsellor. You don't need planning permission. Anyway, I'm getting back to my dream. <laughs>